<laughs> Marty Sign Eric here, and for the next two days, I'm going to be cooking for you guys homemade Korean food. Before we even get started, let's just address the massive penis in this room, which is my haircut. <sighs> oh, you think it's funny? Okay. A few days ago, I got a haircut. I liked it. Viv did not. Um, you guys did not either. What? Eric. Yeah, no, don't, don't do that. Eric, stop <laughs> You're lying, bro. No, You're I lying. I told you I loved your haircut. <laughs> My mom and my girlfriend said my hair could look good. Really? Your mom said that? Oh, why are you so surprised? Oh my god, bro. Suffocation. That same day, I posted like a cooking Instagram reel. The second I posted it, like a minute later, I got tons of comments. And I was like, oh, whoa, people must love this video. And I read the comments and people were just... They were just flaming the shit out of me for my haircut, so. Anyway, this video is a little bit different from my usual videos. Like, yes, I am eating, but... The focus is primarily on cooking the Korean food. Hope that's okay and I hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's just get straight to it. Hi. Six. Okay, six what? This was nine. Okay, you watched so much. On sale. Oh, wow. Yeah, right? This is, this is eight dollars. You know how much we pay for this? How much should we pay? Fucking thirteen. <gasps> thirteen dollars? I feel like you don't really care. No, I do, I do. I love I got gochugaru, my favorite. Uh-huh. I got super hot curry, so it's spicier. Nice. I got demidun because you have dead skin all over your body. Okay, all right. Cut, cut. What up? Um, oh, what up? It's been about four hours now. Viv and I just took a really long nap. Viv just no, said- No, Viv and I just woke up. No, I was going to say, Viv said I look like a five-year-old right now. <laughs> it looks like I'm a tuna. Super dark out now because the sun sets at like fucking 2 p.m. 2 p.m. We are going to take Terry out now for a walk. She's gonna shit, she's gonna pee, and then we are going to make dinner, which is going to be Korean food. First thing we are making is tubu kimchi. Got some fucking tofu from Trader Joe's. What are you saying it like that? I don't know. We're gonna drain this. It's just a big block of tofu. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then we're going to half it. No. This way. Okay, got it. So quarters, perfect. And that, my friends, is how you make a perfect tofu. Oh my God, it's huge. Yeah. That is how you make a perfect tofu block. Wait, I have to fart, I have to fart. Can you record Can you me? fart over record. there? Okay. That's disgusting. Now we are going to put the tofu yeah, on. Yeah, there's tofu on Oh there. my God. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Sorry, 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 okay. I mean, oh. <laughs> we also have the pan on medium to low heat right now because the purpose of this, I don't know, whatever. The next step, <laughs> the next step is to cut this pork into bite-sized pieces. It is a little frozen. <laughs> oh, wow. Not bad, right? That's a it's sharp fucking though. knife. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that camera quality. That camera quality is nice. Damn, that pork looks good, god damn. We are going to put this in here while the tofu is cooking. Wow. We're going to let this pork cook a little bit and then we're going to add in the kimchi. That looks beautiful. We're also going to add in a little teeny bit of sugar and a little bit of sesame oil. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then garnish it with green onions. And a little bit of green onion. And just a little bit more of green onion. Very nice, very sexy. God damn. You guys see this shit? That's right, I made this shit. Now we got some tteokbokki, which is, uh, it's pre-packaged, so we're just gonna be following some directions, and we're going to be making it. We got the noodles, the rice cake, the sauce, and then we got the hot sauce going in. Very yummy. More delicioso. Add in a cup of water. We are also going to add in the fried fish cake. Fried fish cake, my favorite. That shit looks nice, doesn't it? We also got the tteokbokki here. Oh, look at that. 
That's the whole package right there. That's the tofu, the pork, and the kimchi. First bite, here we go. Oh, I look like a child. Mmm. Mmm. Right? That's some fire shit. Mm -mm -mm. When I say Korean food is the best food on the planet, I am not biased. That is so good. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it? Really Rate it. Eight? Just a nine, bro. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. This kimchi was homemade by Viv's mom, so shout out to Viv's mom. Love you. <laughs> I love my mom too. Go tell your mom that you love them because, you know, here is, oh, it's sliding. Here is the topoki, which is rice cake. And it's made out of wheat flour, not rice. First bite, here we go. I like the flavor of the sauce though. Mm -hmm. It's spicy. But the actual rice cake itself, I'm giving that a six. Mm. Okay, but that sauce is fire. Mm -hmm. mm, that sauce is really good. I was talking to my friend Jomo the other day, whose real name is Jonathan. He realized my standards for, for food are not that high, which is completely true guys. So if you're watching this, and you see me enjoying my food, just know that I'm just happy to eat. I have very low standards when it comes to food. If it's edible, I'm gonna enjoy it. Unless it tastes like fucking shit. Mmm! Mm. I actually was not gonna make this video, mostly because I was afraid that I was gonna get flamed for my haircut. Oh yeah, I'm looking at myself right now. I look like a five-year-old. Here's something you don't see on my channel a lot. Fruit, because we're going to be making celery juice. We got apples, celery, orange, lemons, and spinach. Now we are going to strain our little juice shit. It helps so, with the throat being itchy and shit. Super good. All right, listen up. The whole point of my videos is to inspire you guys to be healthier and to make better choices in life. So I hope today did that. For the rest of the night, I am going to watch One Piece. Yo, One Piece is so fucking hype right now. Spoilers for those of you that haven't watched it, but Viv and I just watched the episode where Luffy beats the fuck out of Luchi. I'm a big fan. And I can see why people were saying that Water 7 in NES Lobby was like a phenomenal arc. Also, Sanji's lit as shit. Let me just say that right now. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Viv doesn't like this little film on top, so we're gonna take it off for her and let that cook too. Put some cheese on top of that English muffin. Take our beautifully cooked egg. Oh, shit. Place it right on top of that cheese with some garlic salt, some red chili flakes. We're also going to cut up an avocado. Put that on its own English muffin. Avocado needs a little bit of seasoning. Everything bagel shit seasoning, whatever. Some hot chili flakes. Do you like it when I make breakfast for you? Yes. <laughs> nice. Hi, Terry. I have an egg for myself, and I also have some avocado. But I am not going to put it on an English muffin because I don't want those carbs. I want these carbs, which is the leftover tteokbokki from last night. So I am going to put this in a microwave. For those of you that don't know what a microwave is, you just put in a number, and then you press start, and then it will heat up the food for that amount of time. We're going to take our egg from, oh shit. We're going to take our egg, okay. Place that on top. You guys might call me weird for that. Also put in the avocado. Perfect. Now you can't tell me that's not a Korean breakfast. You guys want to see the egg yolk break? Let's go. Ooh. Yep. Mmm. Oh, look at that. Fish cake. Mmm. Yeah, I'm also, I'm not wearing pants right now. Got the fish cake here, some avocado, some egg right here. We're gonna put in a tteokbokki too, some noodles, oh, Jordan Mion. And then we're just gonna wrap that up. First bite. Mm hmm. It's phenomenal. You want some? Uh, I right, Remember when I asked you if you wanted some? You said well, no. Now you eat it so deliciously, I wanna have a bite. Well, I have no idea what we're going to be doing for the rest of the day. We'll probably watch some One Piece today. Do you guys like my phone background? Okay, not that. I fuck with that. So here we got, this is just oranges, apples, and half a lemon. Take it nice and slow. Also, yeah, this is not Korean, but because I'm drinking it, it's Korean food.
It tastes a lot better when there's no celery in it. I like celery though. Oh yeah, no, I like celery too. It is seven o'clock and I just walked Terry. We went to Whole Foods. I actually just fell asleep for like three hours this time. Like I actually fell asleep. We're going to make dinner now and it's going to be Korean food. So let's get straight to it. Also at Whole Foods, the cashier said that, uh, um, that she liked my haircut. Yeah, I like it. Some clams in cold water with some salt. And you guys are probably wondering what we are going to be making. And to find out, you're going to have to watch this ad. What are you looking at? We got ourselves a potato. This is a Japanese purple potato. And we're just- It's not? It's not? Oh. It's an Idaho potato. Okay, goddamn. We're going to poke a fuck ton of holes in it, like jab, 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 and then microwave it for eight minutes. Stab, stab, stab. Just gonna put this potato in the microwave oh, now. Because wow, they don't know how to fucking do that, do they? Okay, well I'm just gonna show them how to use a microwave. So we're gonna cook this for eight minutes now, and then we're going to carry on with the a quarter cup of potato, we're gonna dump that into this bowl. A quarter cup of water, make sure it's an exact measurement, and then we're just gonna toss that into the bowl. Perfect, guys, perfect. Now we can move on. The next step is we're just going to mix this mm -hmm. around. Right? No. Mm -hmm. We're going to dump this in as well. A teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of whatever oil you want. We're going to be using olive oil imported from Greece. Now we're just going to mix everything up. So I'm almost done kneading the dough here. And the trick to kneading is actually not the technique. It's just that you do it with love. Look at me. Here's what the dough looks like. We're going to put it in a Ziploc bag. The reason we're doing this is because Viv, tell me so I can tell the camera. So the moisture makes the dough softer and then we can roll it out and make a nice cut noodles. So the reason we're doing this is so that the moisture gets locked in and makes the dough softer. Can you get the air out, please? Right. <sighs> Ew! What? That's not what you do. Please, Eric, please. Into the fridge for 30 minutes. Yes. Thinly slice the vegetables. Mm -hmm. Oh, look how thinly that is being Not sliced. These are little neck clams that we got from Whole Foods. We are now going to add them to boiling water. The clams have been boiling for about 10 minutes now, and we are now going to drain. Strain. Okay, we want to save the broth essentially for later. Clam meat. Definitely does not look the most appetizing, but it's pretty delicious. In this, we have anchovies and kelp in a little packet that's going to make us some dashi broth. It smells so fucking good. And this is crazy to me because I've never like home cooked Korean food like this before and I love kalguksu. And Viv here was the master chef behind it. So th everyone say thank you to Viv for what we're about to eat. Paksu. We also got kimchi right here. This is kaktuki. So it's uh, Thanks, mom. thick ass radish. Thank you to Viv's mom too. Mmm. I love myself some thick noodles. Everything together. First bite, here we go. Mmm, with the clam. Those little neck clams, man. Mmm, but the real flavor of the kaguksu is in the broth. First bite, here we go. 
Oh, that's fucking delicious. God damn. It'd be cool if I could like drink the soup and transfer it to your mouth. Mm. Some nice kagoku soup on a cold winter day. So nice. The coolest part about today's meal for me was that we made the noodles. That's so fucking cool. Ah, oh, yeah, that soup is so good. Phenomenal meal, nine out of 10 overall, but the soup is a 10 out of 10. My only complaint about the kaguk soup is that we didn't make more. Thanks for watching. I'm in a rush right now, so I'm gonna make this quick, but thank you guys for your never ending support. Really appreciate it, even if I've been not so consistent with the uploads, but I do have another upload coming out this week. It's probably just going to be like another vlog or what I eat in a day because tomorrow I am getting Invisalign. So, you know, I want to record all that. <laughs> also this Friday, I'm going to bring back another reviewing best food, whatever in New York City. So if you guys can guess what that is, that'd be cool. But you're not gonna guess what it is. Not that the video is coming out on Friday because that would be bait. I'm recording on Friday and hopefully I'll have it out by like next Monday. So yeah, got some uploads coming out. Be on the lookout for that and I will see you guys later. Peace.